Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we are going to work with more with the URL lib, and then most accurate inside the request section. So let's just jump right into it. So let's tweak this because we really want to, and I really want to show you URL open. So let's look at from URL lib dot request import URL open. And we're going to do this as URL. So we're not having to do all this extra typing. So let's import that. So now, old famous, let's run our dir on it so we understand what we have, what we're going to do, and so forth. But this is this is URL open, this is how we handle URL addresses. So, alright. <clears throat> Here we go. So, this is everything inside URL. Now, so, and the way that we do it is we give it an address. So, let's look at URL probably better this way. So, alright. URL open, there's that. This is the timeout object, but this is where I want you to look. I think I touched on this last video. Uh, maybe it's back in request. But you actually type in the URL address, and that is including the HTTP with uh, the, with the forward slashes so let's just use let's just use Google so, all right URL all right. all right so let's see so you don't have to watch me type this and mistype this ah and it has to be a string did you see it here let's let's back that back out so you can see it tells us it either has to be a string or a request object. <coughs> Excuse me. So, let's just do one thing at a time. Let's uh, let's just give it a string. So, again, copy this, and it's just Google's Google's main page, but as a string. And let's do that then and I'm just going to show you and there's so much we're going to do to do with all these things and just like we do we're going to do one little thing at a time so it's searchable and you can always come back and see this so all right so this is what gets created a a response object so all right cuz we're inside request and we're going to do more with URL lib but this is inside the request part and URL open so this is what gets created so alright depending on how much you know about computers and how they communicate your computer my computer right now in this instance is the client okay you might go okay how am I gonna remember it so you have either servers or clients we're going out to we're requesting from the server to make a connection we want to open up the URL right so then what gets responded is the client we're the client you're the client alright client and server that's it so now before we get way too off into the weeds we're just gonna I'm just gonna show you two two very cool things so, alright this is everything associated with the page object. We're going to start using more words like object that are more correct. So, all right. And this is what I want to show you. If I can do my alphabet. I want close and closed. So, okay. Right now, Let's just see if our page connection is closed. No. So what I want to do, it's always good practice that after, once we make a connection, 
we want to close. So right now, let's close this out. Page.close. Now let's do page.closed. Test again. Haha. -ha. All right. Here's some very, very cool, very, very simple, just some building blocks with inside the UR lib request section. And this is URL open. And then here's the closed test. We closed method on the page object, and then we ran closed again. So there we go. So very cool. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click that like and subscribe button because next what we're going to do is we're going to take some information. We're going to start using some really awesome methods and we're going to start doing some real good stuff with this. So don't forget to click that like button if these are the kind of videos you're interested in so I can be led which way to go. And that subscribe button, most important, and that notification bell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.